this video we're going to demonstrate the proper techniques for cleaning and inspecting a coaxial component. Today we have a type N female to 7 millimeter coaxial adapter. We have a Mori 7 millimeter collet extraction tool, cotton swabs, isopropyl alcohol, can compressed air, and a lighted magnifying glass for inspection purposes. We begin by visually inspecting the adapter. Look at both ends for any foreign material or scratches or dings that may be present. Then we want to do the same under magnification. Again, we're looking for broken pieces of metal, embedded foreign material in the dielectric or connector faces, heavy scratches, and any other signs of excessive wear or other damage. Once we're satisfied with this, we'll want to use the 7mm collet extraction tool to remove the collet or center contact. We use the tool by pulling back on the levers, inserting it into the 7mm connector, gently releasing the levers and pulling straight out. The next step is to clean the connector faces. To do this, you'll want to use the cotton swab and the alcohol. You'll want to clean the inner and outer conductor using a circular motion, being careful not to push too hard on the center conductor. Once you've swabbed the connector face, you'll want to dry out the moisture using the canned compressed air. Once you've cleaned both connector faces, you want to inspect them again under magnification to be sure you've removed all particles of foreign material. If residue is still present, repeat the cleaning process. We're now ready to gauge the connector interface using a Mori 7mm gauge kit and torque wrench. The Mori gauge kit contains a master gauge block and the gauge indicator. We'll want to be sure to inspect and clean the gauge as we did the adapter. Next connect the master gauge block to the gauge body. We'll want to ensure that you don't turn the connector, you turn only the nut. To finish off, you'll want to torque it using the Mori torque wrench. Check the dial indicator to be sure it is zeroed. If not, loosen the locking nut and adjust the gauge ring to zero and relock the nut. This zeroes the gauge. Now that the gauge has been properly set, we're ready to test our adapter's pin depth. Again, we don't want to turn the component, we want to turn only the nut to avoid damage. And finish off again with the torque wrench. The adapter's pin depth is 8 ten thousandths of an inch of center conductor recession. This meets the Mori Precision 7mm interface specification of 0 to 1 thousandths and a half of recession. A protruding center conductor can cause serious damage to the adapter itself as well as to the test board or other devices it's connected to. Excessive center conductor recession can cause measurement errors. If your connector fails to meet manufacturing specifications, it should be repaired or replaced. Please contact the Cal and Repair Department at Mori Microwave. They'll be happy to help you. Now that we've cleaned, inspected, and gauged the adapter, we're ready to reinsert the 7mm collet. To do this, it's best to use non-metallic tweezers and not touch the collet or interface with your hand to avoid contamination. 
Using the tweezers, you'll place the collet back into the center conductor. And using the 7mm extraction tool, pop the collet back in place. Okay, in this segment we're going to show the proper technique for connecting a 7mm device. We're going to use the adapter from the previous segment. You'll want to be sure that this connector is fully retracted and the connector you're going to mate with is fully extended. Bring your part up to the port, turning the nut only, holding the body, engage the two connectors. Use the torque wrench to finish off. When you're done, leave the back nut floating freely. Tightening this nut can lead to poor connections, connector damage, and other undesirable effects.